first match in charge. What's your assessment? Yeah, good result, obviously. Uh, uh, Any time you win a crew game is very good and gives the boys some confidence. So the way we played was impressive, nice and aggressive, and you know they're not a bad side. It was a flat wicket, so to get 20 wickets, very pleased with the bowling. Uh, Batting-wise, some of the blokes got some time in the middle, so happy so far. Who were you most impressed with? Uh, the, the batting of Hughes in, in both innings was impressive. So, yeah, just happy the way everyone went about it. Uh, Watson was very good at the start, so everyone did their part to, to get the result the way we wanted to go. Has this past week been as much of a whirlwind for you as a, and shock as it has been for the Australian public? I think it's been a shock for everyone, but uh, we move on now and, and we go to Worcester and, and try and win another game of cricket. Uh, obviously, everyone's talking about the Ashes, and for us, all we're worried about is you know, getting to Worcester and playing well there. Anyone? Do, you, do you like Hughes in the middle order? Is that is there a, a possibility for? Him? There's a lot of possibilities at the moment, Chloe. <laughs> um, but he played really well, so that's what we want to do. We want to have blokes making runs and, and performances will count. So pretty impressed with that. What are you going to do in Worcester? Is he going to stay? Is he going to go back to five, or are you going to experiment some more? Oh, he could bat anywhere. <laughs> uh, we just don't know. So we do know, but I'm not going to tell you right. Come Sorry. On. <laughs> uh, we'll give other blokes a game as well. So we're just going to make sure everyone is ready to go for the for the first test, but the most important thing is winning the game. So for us, we'll play the game as we did here, aggressive, um, and try and get everyone some runs and some wickets, and then we'll make a judgment call when we get to the first test. So Darren, everyone um, obviously except Dave Warner, do you think the other squad guys who didn't play here will all get a game? And yeah, we'll, we'll try and play as many as we possibly can yeah. each and every game to, to make sure everyone's ready to go. Uh, as we've said at the start of the tournament, 18 players is going to get us to where we want to go to. So for us, that's, that's important. Um, and everyone's going to get a chance to play. Is Watson likely to open in Worcester or are you going to give the other guys like Chris and that a chance? Uh, no, Watson open. I can give you that one, how's that? Okay, that's, <laughs> that's easy. That's enough. Um, what about uh, Peter Siddle? Did he look to you like he needs a, still needs a few more overs before not uh, I was pretty impressed with him yesterday. Um, but again, yeah, we'll see whether he plays or he doesn't play. And, and you know, the case for him is, is just making sure he's ready to go. Um, you know, bowlers are. You know, different species at the best of times, both mentally and physically. Uh, but for me, it's a case of making sure they actually play uh, the best they can each and every time. I was going to say, when you get to sort of his level where he's reasonably senior bowler, is it also a case of trusting him that he knows where he needs to be? Uh, yes and no. We want him to bowl well each and every time, whether it's a tour game or a test match. So, And he knows that. Yep. How's Clark's back? Good, he's come up really good. So we're really pleased for, for that. Um, that's a good thing. He's got some time in the middle, so he, I know he'd like a few more runs, and you know, he'll get his chance down in Worcester, I'm sure. Don't you um, in, inherited the, the Dave Warner suspension, I suppose. Does, how, do you, how does he start with you? Like, is it, a, is it a clean slate, or in terms of selection and, I suppose, like just his, his future? Yeah, very much so, clean yeah. slate. Uh, we can't control what's happened in the past, so we just worry about the future. We've just got to make sure he gets enough nets, and, and then comes into consideration like everyone else, and that's all we can do. Has he done a bit of um, sort of batting in the middle as well? Like, um, you know, like Mickey was sort of talking about taking him out to you know, quite a few fields and get this. Yeah, we were lucky enough here with the facilities that we've had centre wickets every day, and he's been the first there and the last to leave. So I've been pretty happy with his you know, preparation and what he's trying to get out of what he can do without playing a match. So he's impressed me in that regard. So no dramas there. He's been sort of first guy in the in the nets and stuff. For, you know, since his suspension, has he impressed you with his attitude? The way I suppose he's he's, he's come back from. Well, I don't know what's happened in the past, so for me it's a simple fact he's got to do that full stop. Um, and he's not the only one, that's everyone in the squad's got to train that way. We want to train as hard as, as we can and be the best we can be at training and then uh, transfer that into the games. You know it was pretty well, his game. Um, how, how do you sort of see his, where, he's, where he's placed at the moment? He looked really good today. Um, so another uh, tick for us. We're getting batters into some form and that's really important when you come into selection. Does it help his cause that um, you know, I suppose, what, what he's capable of and what you can get out of him? No. Yeah. What did you... Sorry. Um, it just, just, you, I just want to ask you about your sleep on uh, Sunday night. Is it, is it an easy night's sleep? I haven't it... had much sleep. I had my first full night's sleep last night, so I'm a lot more relaxed today. <laughs> is that is that because you, you've come... Sort of, it's so yeah, it's just been a here. change, yeah. and there's obviously a change in over, you know, simple things, IT, different phones, emails, the whole lot. So, um, and there's a lot of emails flying uh, thick and fast at the moment, but that's just part and parcel of the job, and that's fine. How have you got communication yeah. with Mickey? 
Yeah, I spoke to him obviously after it all happened and, and obviously sad to see the loss of his mother the other day. So, you know, we wish him all the best with that. It's a tough time for him, full stop, and, you know, we'll support him as much as we can. And, you know, he's a, he's a good man. So, you know, we'll be doing whatever we can for him. Last question. Yeah. With you getting your head around and your plan for, for the Ashes, did you have preconceived ideas in your mind just from, I suppose, being a cricket observer and a watcher, or have you really had to try to get your head around? Uh, preconceived in which way? You know, like just being a being a cricket observer and observer being a cricket Australian. nuffy. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah I have, the team. Did yeah. you sort of know what? Yeah, you do. You, you, have, you, have, you have your ideas, and look, I've been really pleased with what I've walked into. Um, the guys are excellent. Um, expect them to train hard, and they do. Behave well, they do. Um, you know, and that's how we're going to do it from now on.